Hi and welcome to the Displacer Pro version 1.5 What's New video. Make sure you check out our free project file for 20 displacement transitions, as well as our tutorial explicitly on how to create cool transitions. So the most requested feature we had is map interpretation. Let's view the map. I've got a radial transition here. It's posterized a little bit. And with the standard map interpretation, if I increase the translation, we'll see that the different segments are moving in different directions. Whereas with the legacy version, it was just varying amounts in the same direction. So what's going on in standard is that a value of white means that it has full transformation in one direction. Black is full transformation in the opposite direction. And the gray levels in between are just varying amounts of each. If you have gray values of exactly 0.5, no transformation will occur. So I've taken care to make sure that my gray values in the middle aren't exactly 0.5, otherwise it wouldn't move at all. Another new feature that we have is a map mix input. And what that allows us to do is if you have an external displacement map like we do, you can mix in detail from the input just like that. Now let's up the translation and we can see we're getting some jaggies here. And that brings us to the next new feature. So previously you might want to add some softness, you know, and I might want to add some anti-aliasing to address that. But now we have another way to do that. We have iterations. Now iterations are great for adding motion blur, but also in an example like this where we don't have any keyframes, we can still use it. I'm going to increase the iterations to 10 and then lower the shutter duration to 10%. And now we can compare the difference that makes by clicking reset iterations. Yeah, it's really smoothing things out. Okay, so that's great, but uh, let's take a look at how we can actually use iterations for temporal motion blur. What we have in this composition is some more radial rotation. Let's look at this map, it's a bit different. And the velocity is increasing a lot towards the edges, but you wouldn't know it looking from a still frame because we don't have any motion blur. So let's fix that. Let's add iterations to say 50 because it's moving quite fast. And you can change the shutter duration. So zero is none and 200% is a full 360 degree shutter angle. And that'll really smooth things out. What else do we have? In this example, we have a scale transition. It scales to the middle, but what we have here is actually, it scales beyond zero. It goes to negative scale, and that sort of wraps it back around. It doesn't disappear, it's essentially a mirror. And that's not really handy when you're doing a transition, because you kind of want, you know, you want the pixels to transition off screen. Well, what do you know it? We have a checkbox for that, clamp negative scale. And that'll just trim any negative pixels and allow you to transition everything off screen. Last but definitely not least, we have this fancy about and support tab. And we finally have some written documentation, which you can click on. So now you can help yourself. Well, those are all the features we have now. I hope you enjoyed the latest version of Displacer Pro. And if you have any further features that you'd like added, make sure you send in a request. Bye-bye.